if I can see my comments. There it is. Okay. Make sure the sound's off. Okay. Hey friends. Um, this evening I am going to be creating a wood slice with roses on a hem page. I'm going to hand paint and I'm going to show you how I do it from start to finish. And hopefully I can do it pretty quickly. No guarantees. Hi Sheila. Um, we'll see. It takes me a little while sometimes, but um, hopefully the paint dries quick and we're good to go. So, thanks for joining me this evening. I'm having to look down because I have cameras like, so I gotta figure out which camera I'm looking at. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Here we go. Alright, let me adjust this just a little bit. Okay. Let me switch you over. Anyways. Hold on. Okay. I'm Carrie Grant. I'm with Making Heart. I am the maker and the creator behind MakingHeart.com. I create all kinds of inspirational gifts and items. I hand paint them. I hand letter them. Um, I do everything from scripture cards to journals. I paint. Hi, Sherry. Um, and I'm starting to do these little videos. I'm not real good at it, but I'm getting there. And I enjoy it. And so, if you see anything that you like, even some of the stuff behind me in the background is stuff that I have created. Um, if you see anything that you like, you can, um, <coughs> excuse me, you can go to my website at www.makingheart. No G in making. Not making, just making. Makingheart.com. And um, I'd love for you to stop by and give it a peek. I have lots of new things, as a matter of fact, going in this week. Um, the, the wooden pieces that I paint tonight will be in on my website tomorrow. So, hi, Miss Nancy. How are you? Hi, Lisa. Okay, hi, Tori Braid. Let's get started. Okay, this is what we're going to paint. It's just, it's the... Um, I buy these at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's just the raw edge wood. Wood. What is it called? A raw edge wood something. I don't know. It's a piece of wood. Raw edge. Um, and then, so I print the, the um, hymnal page out on my computer. And I adhere it to the wood slats like this. I have two that I'm going to do tonight. I have Old Ragged Cross and I have Greatest Thy Faithfulness. And as you can see, they're white, whereas the one in the background is not. So, we're going to start off by aging it. So, let's put the finished product over here and we'll get started. Okay. To age it, I use um, Distressed ink it is by ranger and this color is brushed corduroy and let me see and i usually will have a piece of paper next to me because when you put the ink on your little dauber here if you if you just you just got to do it real light just add a little here and there oh it's going to shake the camera sorry guys I'll try to go a little softer, but it just shakes the camera. This process doesn't take very long usually, so. Hi, Tara. I probably, now I know that it shakes the camera. Next time I do these, I will, uh, Presley says, hi, Grams. Hi, Rue. Next time I will color these 
do this part before we get started so it's not shaking the camera so bad. But you have to do this part before you paint or it just doesn't work, so. Okay. So it's not, it's not real heavy, it's not real thick. You just want a light, just a little age to it. That's all we're doing is aging it. Here comes my kid. I love you too. Bye. Thanks for helping dad. Okay. So now that we've got it kind of an aged color, see how it's got, it almost looks like tea stains, but it's not, it's ink. Okay, now we're going to pick, let's do, I think I'm going to do red roses again. This is Imperial Red by Folk Art. And then I'm going to use a little Cardinal Red. And ceram coat. You always gotta have white. Let's see. The green is gonna be folk art crocodile. Ramco green tea. Hi, Lisa. Okay. And then we gotta have a pink. Lots to have a pink. And then let's try Srim Coat Pink Seashell. Okay. So this is our color palette. Two reds, a deeper red, a lighter red, a green, and a lighter, a dark green, a light green, and white. You always have to have white. And I'm going to start out with a flat brush. It is a number 10. These are all Master Touch brushes. They're amazing. And I always start out with my... Um, just kind of doing some, I want to know where my flowers are going to go. So, This is about where I want it to go. I don't want it to cover the whole the whole piece of wood. I just want it to kind of frame it, but not all of it. So I always turn my wood to paint. So now I'm gonna put the leaves on it. And I usually just do, actually, I usually do a little bit thicker coat, but because I want to be able to letter this for you guys, um, this one's going to have a little bit lighter coat. Okay. Where did my pickle go? Alright, so now there's the first coat on the leaves with the dark green. Now we're going to go back and use just a little bit of the light green. I don't 
ever just stick to one thing. I'm not that easy, so. Sometimes I mix it all up, sometimes I don't. Okay. Hi, Aubrey. Thanks for joining me. Okay. Now the leaves are done. Well, they're done for the moment. They're not complete, but they're done for the moment. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and I'm going to start my big red roses. I'm going to go in with the darker red first. And I'm going to put my the base of where I want my roses to be. And it's hard because I don't want the title to be, the title of the song to be covered. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. I never, ever, ever do an even number. But, well, I tell you what, let's put one up here. Anyway, okay. So now we have the the base of our roses. Okay, same brush. Let me rinse it out here. Thanks, Miss Sherry. I got all kinds of sassy with them today. Rainbows. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna go in with the pink. Instead of, I'm not going to go to the medium red yet. I'm going to go in with the pink. And I'm just going to do a whole bunch of little kind of dashes. Can tell you when I do my roses, I always do it's it's several layers. It doesn't happen all at one time. Okay, so now we've got the second layer on the roses, and now I'm going to add a little red to the pink. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my rosebuds because they are a little thicker and they take a little while to dry. So, Rachel. Okay. Okay. I know that looks really busy and it looks like a whole lot, but when it's all finished, it'll be really, really pretty. Okay. So now the rosebuds have their first layer. And now I'm going to go in to the roses with white. Thanks, Sherry. I think white is probably my best friend. I put white, I go back and I do all of my accents and my highlights in white, no matter what I'm making. Um, I just always do white, I don't really know why. Just always have. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little white on the rosebuds. I 
know if I mentioned or not. The 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 pay the hymnal page is printed on sticker paper. And so I tear the edges and I adhere it to the wood. That's how I adhere it is through sticker paper. My best friend is sticker paper. It works out really good. Okay. I'm blowing on it like that makes a difference but okay so now now I'm gonna go back into let me find my brush here I'm gonna go back into my leaves and my uh, rosebuds Lisa. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to get quiet on you guys. spinning it around that probably makes it hard for y'all to watch but it'd probably be easier if I'd quit spinning it around for me too but it's just it's just how it works okay I don't know if I mean I think most all of you have are on my Facebook both making heart and personal um, I have new, I just finished a whole new set of worksheets and coloring pages. They're super cool. $16 for a set. They're printed on a very, very heavy cardstock, so they last forever. You can actually laminate them and draw over them over and over and over. Great for kids, teenagers, grandkids, or you. And there, so there's 10 pages total. Um, and they are on my website. I'm also working on some covers, fabric covers for traveler's notebooks and for my journals. Teach a class on how to do what, Lisa? I missed it. What did I miss? Teach a class. I get that a lot, don't I, Lisa? You need to teach a class on that. And I'm like, on what now? I don't even know. Okay, now we're gonna take this brush here. It's kind of a rounded, and I'm just gonna go in with kind of a combo of the dark green, light green. Maybe add a little white, because I wanted a different color. And I'm going to just give a little life to my rosebuds. And then, and then we'll set this one aside to dry and I'll do the how great or great is thy faithfulness. Okay. There's the top of it. So you can see it, but you can't really see it. But when it's done, it won't. It'll be good. Um, real quick, we're gonna add just a touch of gold, just because it's my favorite.
here in a second I'll show y'all the gold makes a huge difference it's so pretty it's perfect for something with this hem on it just add that a little bit to it You can see this shimmer. So it just adds just a little, there's a shimmer to it. But you don't see it when you just look. Anyways, okay. Hi, Candace. All right, the gold is done. You know what? I want to add just a little life here. to my roses. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to go sit this aside in front of the air condition so it will dry so I can letter it for y'all before we go. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Next. Okay. Hi, Miss Womack, Tanya. Alright, this one is Great Is Thy Faithfulness. Alright, we're going to shake the camera just a little bit. I know, I know. I hate that it shakes it, but... These wood slices, I sell... Uh, the wood slices are 45 for the large and 35 for this side. So the size I just did is 45. The um, this size, which is like a medium, they're 35. And then obviously the little ones are 25. Okay, so we distressed that one a little bit, just took out a little of the bright white. And here we go. Okay. We are painting wood slices with hymnal pages. Now I, pr I print the the hymns. I print them on my computer and I print them on sticker paper. So just in case y'all miss that. People ask me all the time where I get them. I just Google it. Okay. Hi, Miss Jody. And do this. You can never do it the same. No, I know people that have already been on here for a while. They're like, you already did this. It's never the same. No matter how hard I try, I cannot do it the same. So, you never know what you're going to get. 
Okay. This time we're gonna do um let's do I'm still gonna do roses, but let's do a coral, more of a coral color. Rose. Okay, this is called Salmon. We're just going to change it up a little bit here. Okay. So we're going to do the base of our rose, this coral color. And yes, that paint was still wet, didn't hurt a thing. These can be purchased um, on my website tomorrow. The two that I'm doing right now. Oh, that's my JoJo. Okay. Hang on. I gotta go. 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 All right. We're gonna hope that. y'all still see me? Okay, that was my JoJo. Darn it. I might get to call her back, hopefully. If not, I'll text her. Text the, her counselor. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Now, we've got two colors on our roses, but we're going to do a light, let's see, this is a really pretty color. Let's do this. It is called Blue Heaven. Just gonna do some little accent petals here. I'll call her back, guys. It's I appreciate it, but um, they only get certain times that they can call, and uh, a lot of times if I don't answer, she knows that I've got a million things going on, and so they'll I'll, I'll call her here in a little bit, and they'll let me talk to her. They're really, really, really good about that. Okay. Now, I'm going to go in with a little bit darker, brighter green, because I just want a little bit more life in this. It's kind of... I'm going to go in with a brighter green. Y'all just see me stick my paint in the blue when it was supposed to be green. What? See, y'all just think that I know what I'm doing. I make mistakes all the time. But that's okay. That's what makes it unique and mine. Mistakes don't bother me too much because it always works out in me. Hi, Darlene. 
Thanks for joining us. Okay. Hi, Lisa. I'm going to be having a little painting play date with Lisa's granddaughters or grandchildren next week. That's going to be fun. go in with a lighter pink I'm, telling you, I'm, a, I'm a color mixer and I'm just going to give that's too light, that's not light enough I'm going to give my roses a little bit Only see all this paint over here. I thought it was just way too much paint to choose from. Sometimes you just have to add a little darker color to give it a little life. Okay. Okay, dokie. Now, let's see here. all the time. I can't help it. Okay. I like these. Jordan is doing fantastic. Aubrey, thank you for asking. She was here um, a few weeks ago. I guess it's been a couple of weeks. And uh, oh, it was just so, it was so amazing to spend the the, the weekend with her. She was here for three days. And, uh, you know, God is so good because the program that she is in is, you know, the purpose of that is to just basically restore her back to the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful person that, um, 
that God created her to be. It's an amazing program, and it's not just for um, it's not just for people that have some of the same problems that Joe has. It's there's people there with lots of issues that they're just not who who God made them be. And she is uh, she's got like 93 days, I think, until she comes home. And she spent the weekend with her Tinny and. Um, Tinsley was so excited to see her mama and we had a great visit and then Presley and Tori were down here last weekend for Tori's birthday so it has been a full house and it's been fun and I am extremely blessed okay now we're gonna let this one dry let me see here can y'all see it we're gonna let this one dry and I'm gonna do hopefully the other one's dry enough to do the letter let me go get it hang on okay okay here we go all right, this one is the old rugged cross. Let's see. Okay, these are the pens. I love to use these pens. I cannot pronounce them. Fudensuki? I don't know how to say that word. Um, anyways, they're amazing for hand lettering. So, I have to figure out what, what we want to write. What do we want to write? Anybody got any ideas? There's a delay, so you guys let me know. Old Rugged Cross. Um, what am I going to put on here? Usually, not when I'm on a live, usually I sit here and sing the song to try and figure out what I need it to say. I'm not going to do that to you guys because there's nothing pretty about that. But that's what I usually do. I have to sing the song and then I just write some of the song. What do you think, Aubrey, Sherry, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa? I have three Lisas. That's so cool. What am I going to put? Let's see. I mean, I can just put the old Roggy Cross. I can put, I love that old cross. Let's put, I love that old cross. I think I like that. getting all quiet on you guys here. Thank you, Miss Lisa. Okay, I'm like making sure it's dry enough to put my hand in it. So obviously, I am not real great with the whole calligraphy thing because most calligraphers they use the they use the tip and they 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 do the thicker the downstroke is always thicker than the the upstroke, but it's all in one motion. I don't personally do that because for some reason. When I'm the opposite. If it's supposed to be that was bad. 
if you're supposed to go heavy on the ups, heavy on the downstroke, <laughs> light on the upstroke, I'm the opposite. So I have to take the faux calligraphy to a whole new level and kind of draw it in because otherwise it doesn't um, it doesn't end up like it's supposed to. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the word cross. And then I'll go back and do old. And that's why I have practice sheets because I need to practice too. I can I can draw it all out for you quick, but um, I'm not all that. Trust me. I can draw it. I just can't. I can't make the pen do it all in one stroke like a lot of people can. That and I'm picky because I prefer a real thin stroke and then a real thick and so if the if the if the upstroke is too thick I I won't use it so <laughs> I start over okay now we're gonna do There's our letters. Now I'm going to highlight them and shadow them. Same pen, different color. This time it's the gray. And I can't say the word. Food and soup. Food and suki. I don't know how to pronounce it anyway. Okay. And I always use the edge of the pen. I use the, the, the edge of the tip. And I do my highlights like that. Hey, Jen. Okay. If you are wanting to learn how to do this, it's actually not as hard as it may seem. People tell me all the time. My handwriting's ugly, so I can't do it. Here's the facts. This is not, I mean, this is my handwriting, but when I write a letter to someone, I don't write, it doesn't look like this. It, it, it's not even nearly like this. Um, this is something I've taught myself over the years, not just recently. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, but lettering like this is an art it's something that you it's almost something you draw versus something you just do it's not like just writing that's why i have my worksheets so that it's something you can teach yourself um it's it's all done in different strokes of the pen and the pencil and or the brush so whoops there's there's nobody I mean anybody can do it there's nobody that cannot do this it just takes effort and practice so I always shadow on I always put my shadow on the downstroke um, now that's not a downstroke but it's on the opposite side so all of my shadows are on the left side of the downstroke right side of the upstroke and sometimes I have to think about it I'm like okay which way did my pen go to make that letter but that's how you do it right side of the upstroke left side of the downstroke okay last but not least you gotta have a white pen okay we need a white pen that works that's always super helpful 
Let me see here. Okay, that's that. Trust me, I have a lot of white pens. Hang on. New white pen. Here we go. Okay. Thanks, Lisa. Sorry, I just now saw that. All right. So, this one is complete. I love that old cross. Um, all that's left is to put a door hanger on the back. And it'll be up for sale tomorrow in my website. www.makingheart.com All right, let me grab the other one and we're... Almost done. Okay. This one is going to be a little bit easier. Okay. Isn't it? Doesn't it say, Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto thee? See, I can't see because I painted it. Jenny, is it great as thy faithfulness, Lord, unto thee? Oh, my word. Okay, where'd it go? See, that's the problem with painting over. I can't see how the rest of the song goes. But, I'm almost positive it says, Lord unto thee. Okay, Sherry got me. That's it. Okay, so that's what we're going to put. This one's going to be a little harder because it is still wet. And we're just going to turn it around a little too. Uh, where's Lisa? What happened? Okay. Lord. I can tell y'all I don't usually write like this with the pen way over, but it's still wet and I wanted to do this. I wanted to finish them for y'all. Lord unto thee. She's silenced. Whew. Okay. 
I'm gonna shadow this one up. I'm so thankful that you guys joined me. I hope that you'll watch out for me and, and click on the little deal that says notified when I go live because I'm trying to get better about doing the live thing because I have so many people that are like, I want to watch you. And I was doing some classes and I wanted to get back started to doing those again, but I can't because of this COVID. So... This is as close as I can get to teaching y'all right now. Um, hopefully soon it will get better. But until then, and I do have, I've only got a couple on there right now. I've got to add the rest of my videos, but I do have some videos on my YouTube, which is just Carrie Grants on YouTube. Um, so like you can always go back and watch there's there's two or three on there now and then I've got two or three to add still if you get a chance please share this video for me whoa white polka dots on my arm Okay. All right, guys. Here's this one, Lord unto thee. Let me get the other one for you. So there you go. This size here is forty-five dollars. This size here is thirty-five dollars. And then the, the, this one right here is a big wood one, and it's 45 also. And they come with a, a hanger on the back. And again, you can custom order um, the, song, the hymn that you would want. I'll do custom orders, and you can also pick the colors that you would want. So, let me switch you back over. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me this evening, and I just greatly appreciate each and every single one of you and, and your support and what I do and in my business, and I hope that you're all staying safe and your family members are safe, and I would love to add any of you to my prayer list. If you will send me a message, I'll gladly be happy to pray for you and your family, and um, I just hope that you guys are safe and that everything's okay, and that y'all enjoyed this and that you'll catch me again on my next video thanks again i love you guys and i hope you have a great evening talk to you later